began to gather ourselves. Chris Howard had Citizens for Change, a group organized in the late 90s after a rash of shootings. Howard is appalled that in two months in Lumberton, four people have been shot and killed, and three of those killings remain unsolved. I have tears and for a lot of them that I knew, and their lives stuffed away, and it bothers me. Howard tells me he's tired of people bashing police, saying they don't care about South Lumberton because it's a poor area. The police are doing all that they can, but they cannot do anything unless the citizens step forward. And you just don't want, mm -hmm. you know, one area to be plagued with problems. That's right. And I'll tell you something else, Tanya. Not only with what's going on in Lumberton, this is the county seat. We are worried about what's going on in Robinson County, period, too. Lumberton Police Chief Michael McNeil is referring to the 34 murders in Robinson County last year. McNeil says law enforcement is working as hard as they can to stop all of the violence, but can't do it alone. It, it frustrates us, but all we need the community to do is to get involved in helping us solve these crimes. They know who it is. They know who's committing these crimes in the communities. Chris Howard says his group is pounding the pavement, talking with residents to help police get answers. In Lumberton, Tanya Brown, ABC 15 News.